Hey guys, what's up? It's been a little bit. I think the last time I did a vlog was when I found the Infinity War set. And everybody was really confused because I posted footage in that vlog and a montage of me calling the first few stores after I'd already started posting the reviews. So that was pretty funny. You know what else was pretty funny? When it turns out Marvel had an entire marketing... Oh, I, t I turned that on a little too soon. Oh, oh, and Christmas decorations and puppies barking and th this vlog's already going to crap or shit. Um, anyway, so yeah, what was also really funny is how it turns out Marvel had an entire marketing scheme or marketing ploy, whatever you want to call it, planned for Infinity War. And so now Avengers Infinity War is coming out on April 27th. So that's pretty cool. Great. This is fantastic. The one showcase where I actually do want to make it on time at least one more time. Just got moved up by a week for the first time ever. I've never had something like this happen and Marvel certainly has never done it. So that's really great, man. And so how did I react? By wasting time and driving two hours to the nearest Lego store on March 3rd to pick up the UCS Hulkbuster and then doing a live stream on Instagram showcasing the entire new Infinity Gauntlet that Hasbro just put out. So yeah, those two things. Hulkbuster. Drove two hours to the nearest Lego store to pick it up. And that's not, I mean, that's that, that's really nothing new. I did that uh, for the Guardians 2 sets, but this time it was actually worth it because this set's actually good. And uh, I mean, it, the legs can't really move that well and, and the, the torso is kind of wonky. Um, but yeah, so Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, yeah, I did a live stream over here and I came prepared like an idiot. I had uh, some nippers to open it. And I had like uh, like four uh, decent AA batteries, whereas the rest were like from our, our, I don't know, they came from like a drawer near our pantry or something and were probably old and acidic and corroded or something. I don't freaking know. Um, thankfully, I eventually, after about 10 minutes of uh, frustrating people on Instagram Live, I uh, found the instruction manual and figured out the switch and how the Infinity Gauntlet works. So that's cool. Turns out I'm an idiot. Um, Thor, been making some progress on him though. As soon as I, as soon as all this happened, um, I had like the entire day of March 2nd before March 3rd when I drove down uh, to get or drove over to the other side of the state to pick up the um, the Hulkbuster to work on Thor. So all of March 2nd, I was just working on Thor, and I pretty much did his entire torso and also. Almost the, pretty much the entirety of his legs. I just have to paint the backs of them now. Um, what else, man? Oh, yeah. Infinity Gauntlet. Check this thing out. Hang on. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Uh, here we go. I'm dropping it already. I'm, I'm, I'm probably breaking it. It's pretty good. Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Almost there. Check it out. Okay. Infinity Gauntlet. Check that out. From freaking Avengers Infinity War. Fine. I will do it. Myself, hell yeah, that sounded horribly canned and I apologize. There's a switch on this thing. I'm gonna try to do it with this hand. Uh, I think I have to push it up. I still don't remember entirely from the live stream. This is probably getting really obnoxious, but the, the hang on. I'm gonna do it on here, on this chair. Hang on, I gotta push that up and then it releases the fingers. So hang on. One day soon, I'll actually be able to operate this thing properly and not like a moron. Okay, there we go. Now I can actually move the fingers. So yeah, this is Hasbro's uh, Marvel Legends Infinity Gauntlet. Pretty pretty awesome. I didn't think I was going to get it. Shout out to uh, Shane, the last Prime. Pretty awesome dude for uh, letting me know that this was actually hitting up uh, hitting GameStops. And then I checked my local GameStop and they're like, hey, yeah, we got an Infinity Gauntlet. And I was like, cool, man. I'll come and pick it up like uh, an hour before you close. And yeah, here we are. It's 20, 2018, and I got a freaking Infinity Gauntlet. I have to admit, this is pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so how, how, how am I going to finish all these figures by April 27th? Look, man. I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know. Um, but what I do know is I'm hauling ass. And it's pretty much going to be, like, all, all my free time is going to be spent painting uh, for the next uh, six or seven weeks. What am I stepping on? These random... I, I really got to clean up my room. I got so much stuff that I have to take to storage. Did I break the Infinity Gauntlet yet? I feel like I'm going to at some point because I'm such a jackass. That over there. Stand up. Don't fall. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. So... I'm definitely questioning things, how I'm going to do the Infinity War showcase and, you know, do everything on time. Um, I apologize for the horrible camera work, by the way. 
you know, but I'm going to start on the Iron Spider next after Thor, most likely. And I'm just going to keep going and uh, do it as quickly as I can. And, you know, while, while still sustaining quality in the minifigures. So it's uh, going to be a pretty challenging process. But I, I'm, I'm really glad that you guys are so excited for what is going to be my best set of minifigures ever. I, I mean, it, it's I, I, I don't know that you're going to see the same level of detail that I had on the Suicide Squad figures. Because the costumes in Infinity War just don't feature that much detail like you know th there aren't tattoos and different things that are incredibly complex to paint all over the iron spider which probably sounds kind of weird because painting an entire spider-man suit is already pretty challenging <laughs> but i guess you know i'm more so thinking about characters like black widow you know hawkeye and ant-man it's just it's all gonna be painted detail that you will you know it's gonna there of course it's gonna be so exciting to see new figures but i'm saying like in terms of detail it's gonna be Probably closer, you know, in, in regards to, like, the Civil War showcase. Just a hell of a lot better and uh, more refined. Does, that, does any of that make sense? I mean, it doesn't even make sense to me. Um, so I think on that note, very quick vlog. I just wanted to cover those th those few things and just kind of address that, oh, yeah, Infinity War is now dropping a week early. And this is the part where all the Europeans that didn't stick around until the end of the video get to jump down in the comments and be like, oh, it's coming out April 25th for us the whole time. That's great. Yeah, you guys always, always uh, have fun spoiling it for us. Um... But I love you guys. So anyway, <clears throat> that is it. And uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, what, what did I want to mention? Oh yeah, on the Instagram live stream, one guy said I should watch IGN's review of the Infinity Gauntlet. And I was just like, nope, don't care. And I think he took it personally. So apologize to that guy. Anyway, um, that's it. I'm going to go. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>